Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to video lecture on uh, OpenCV. This is the seventh video lecture you are watching. In this video lecture, we learn something about the color models. I have written down a program for converting an um, RGB image to a HSB image. So let us explore more on that. Uh, first, let me run this application, uh, build it, build successful, and uh, run it. So you are getting an image uh, which is of completely red color and you are getting certain uh, user interfaces a slider so as long as you change the slider value the color is getting changed and uh, this slider is known as H slider and along with we have one more slider S if you change the S uh, the whiteness in the S changes and uh, one more slider is V if you change the V the blackness or the darkness in the image is getting changed so this particular HSV is a color model we have many other color models uh, let's explore on that so color models uh, one color model is a RGB color model or RGB cube so the principle in the RGB color is nothing but a additive chromacities so if you add two chromas or two colors you will get a different color so depending on the portions of the chromas that you add you, are, you will be getting different sort of colors and uh, this uh, RGB color model is used by uh, computers to display images on the monitors so here R stands for a red chroma G stands for green chroma and blue st B stands for a blue chroma imagine an object uh, there is an object uh, where uh, white light, uh, light falls on it and uh, if that object absorbs all the wavelengths except 620 to 750 then uh, that wavelength is reflected back from that object and the object looks to be a red color and if uh, the same object if it absorbs all the wavelength except this 495 to 570 nanometers then the object looks like a green color and if it reflects wavelength of 450 to 495 nanometer it looks like a blue color so here is a RGB cube uh, from this end if you go in the diagonal path the blue intensity increases from here if you go this way the green intensity increases from here if you go this way the red intensity increases from here if you come this way the blue intensity increases and uh, at this point the blue and red are in same proportion so the color you will get is a uh, cyan uh, sorry magenta and uh, in this particular plane in this way the red increases and at this point you are getting a uh, same proportion of red and blue so you are getting a magenta and in this way the green increases at this particular point the intensity of R and green are same so you will get a cyan and in this way the blue increases and in this way the red increases so this is one way of looking the RGB color model and one more way of looking the RGB color model is in the right side so three circles are uh, overlapped and this is completely red circle this is completely green circle and this is completely blue circle when red and green are mixed you will get yellow blue and red are mixed you will get magenta and blue and green are mixed you will get a cyan when RGB of same proportion are mixed you will get a white light so this is RGB color model and one more color model is HSV cylinder so this particular uh, model tells you how your eyes uh, I interprets the color or uh, uh, perceives seen to be uh, here H stands for hue it tells you what sort of chroma is there in the particular scene is that a blue color or is that a red color next is a S which stands for saturation how much whiteness is added to the above chroma uh, above hue so here you can see very dark blue uh, as you go this way the darkness decreases that is the uh, darkness of blue decreases or I can say whiteness is getting added so at this point whiteness uh, it is fully added here the whiteness is not at all added so this particular point is known as a dark blue or we can say fully saturated blue not only that we have red green yellow uh, magenta and cyan and this value is stands for intensity uh, how much darkness is added to the above chroma so this way the darkness reduces so in this bottom it will be completely dark in the bot uh, top the darkness is not at all added 
so the hue changes from this way uh, increases increases and it reaches back to uh, this point so the hue model will be of a uh, total 0 to 180 degree and this saturation uh, increases from this point to this point whereas value uh, decreases from this point to this point so there are other color models too uh, the CMYK which is used for printing and YCBCR uh, or YUV they are generally used in our television broadcast systems so in our uh, this particular application we will be seeing uh, the RGB to HSV color uh, model conversion I have already written down the program and let me start explaining to you so in this program we will be having some global variables one is of string type the name of the variable is win name or window name which is nothing but an image here is a mat uh, which holds the image to be displayed in this particular window RGBIM and three variables H, S, V the H value initially is 0 S value is 255 and V value is 255 let's go back to main function so the RGBIM is declared here but uh, not initialized so let us initialize it uh, rgbim dot create create is a function which uh, gives the dimensionality and type of image here I am creating a 500 cross 500 image with a 8 bit unsigned and 3 channels that is rgb channels so next is I need to give certain values to the matrix that I just now created uh, that, is, that can be done by using set to function so rgb dot set to and inside that you have to give a uh, value uh, the value is given by a scalar variable here is a scalar uh, which takes uh, the first input as 0 second input as 0 and third input as 255 so the uh, this is for B this is for G and this is for R so all the pixels that is 500 cross 500 pixels in the first plane uh, the B plane will be set to 0 and the G plane of 500 cross 500 will be set to 0 and uh, R plane of 500 cross 500 will be set to 255 so you will get a complete uh, red image of 500 cross 500 and uh, next I am creating a uh, window a window with the name win name next is I am displaying this particular image that just now created in this particular window next I am registering three track bars this particular registration is done to the OS so the registration is done using a create track track bar function so let us see what this track bar function uh, takes or what this track bar function does so let us see the documentation of create track bar so it is available in a high GUI and here is a create track bar so it returns an integer create track bar uh, which takes a few arguments the first one is track bar name uh, you can give any string uh, like H or S here uh, it is taking a window name uh, in which window you want to register this particular track bar and here it is a uh, pointer value which is a pointer to an integer so whenever track bar changes this particular pointer points to the that particular value that change track bar value and this count represents the maximum position of the slider so if you give a 200 the track bar value maximum will be 200 and minimum value will be 0 and this is a track bar callback function so by default there is no function or if you want to register a function whenever a track bar changes its position or whenever a slider changes its position you can call this particular function and uh, user data right now it's a wide star so if you wa don't want a global variables you can send certain variables using this particular user data by default it is zero now let's go back to the program so here create track bar it is a track bar name is H and uh, I'm registering it to the win name the window that I am created and uh, the I'm sending an address or a pointer to a H and the maximum value of H will be 180 degree and the function that I'm calling uh, whenever uh, the slider changes the track bar changes is H mode and uh, null because I'm not sending anything because I'm using a global variable hsv and rgb im and the one more track bar is for s s win name m and s the maximum value will be 255 
and the function is s mode similar to uh, s we have a one more track bar v for the win name and uh, pointer to v you are sending and the 255 will be the maximum value and the function that you are going to call whenever track bar moves is m mode oh, sorry v mode and here is an infinite loop uh, it waits for an in, uh, key for infinite amount of time if it is a escape key it breaks so let us go back to this particular function h mode so here is my h mode it doesn't returns anything so whenever uh, you change the track bar this function is called and this function takes two things uh, as an argument uh, the operating system sends this particular values this, uh, this one value is sent by you uh, while registering that is null and this is sent by the operating system uh, whenever a slider changes this pulse uh, POS will get a value and that pause will be stored in H and next I'm creating a one variable mat HSV IM uh, and next is I'm creating this particular RGB image that is created in main function to a uh, HSV color model so it can be done using a CVT color which stands for convert color takes input which is RGB image and output which is a HSV image it is here and the way you uh, convert is by taking a BGR to HSV color conversion so once you did it uh, once you have done it once you have finished doing it uh, what you have to do is uh, next you need to store certain values in this particular image so I am taking the help of scalar and set to function uh, scalar I am creating a scalar it is a constructor of scalar which returns an object of scalar and it is assigned to HSV uh, which is a variable of scalar type here I am uh, H value is typecasted to UCAR and S value is type typecasted to UCAR and V value is typecasted to UCAR because our image that we are dealing is 8-bit image so that is the reason we are typecasting it to uh, UCAR or else you can see these are 32-bit integers and the fourth value is 0 because scalar requires uh, 4 values now 3 values are distributed to H, S and V and one more value is 0 that value that HSV values are stored in HSV and uh, using set to function I am setting this particular HSV values into this particular image that is HSV IM or next is uh, once you have done it you need to convert it back again to RGB model so again using CVT color the input is HSV image and the output is the RGB image and the argument one more argument is CV underscore HSV to BGR so now you got a RGB color back and you can display it in a window so this happens when H is mode so if in case the S slider is mode again the same uh, thing you will be doing here they are taking pause to S in, uh, here we have done pause to H here the pause to S again same functions are uh, copied here and when uh, V moves instead of uh, this this pause will be copied to V and the same thing is repeated here so this is it this is about uh, this particular program let me rerun it again control alt F7 and uh, debug yes uh, you can see let me take it to 30 when it reaches to 30 you should get a fully yellow so this is fully saturated yellow uh, the S is 255 if you reduce the yellow the saturation decreases and uh, this is darkness darkness in the yellow this is uh, this becomes completely dark yellow this is uh, light yellow so you can uh, see other H values also 30 is yellow 60 is uh, green 90 is uh, cyan and 120 is blue and uh, 150 is magenta and again 180 becomes a red there could be a question in your mind why should I use a HSV color model uh, instead of a BGR so imagine there is a object within a yellow color 
so yellow you will be having a hue of 30 degree uh, sorry 30 and uh, if it is a bgr color model both g and r will be of 255 so when g is 255 and r is 255 categorizing this particular yellow is very difficult uh, you can't categorize it either it to red or you can either you can categorize, categorize it to green so by converting it to h model you are getting a particular value which is 30 which stands for yellow only not any other colors so that is the reason you are uh, going for a hsv model so this particular uh, project can be used if you are uh, identifying any colored object so that's it in this video lecture uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like the video